Hey, how are you guys doing? So, today we're going to be covering Cyrene pretty well. So let's say you just arrived here. You're going to come in right about here. Um, let's be honest, Cyrene is a complex, very amazing planet. It has tons of skill missions for you. But in all honesty, if you're just arriving here, you're going to have no idea what you're doing unless you kind of looked into it ahead of time. I have been on this planet for a little while now, multiple times. Um, there are, of course, people way more ahead of the game on Cyrene than me, especially on the ARC badges. But I am significantly in it and feel comfortable explaining all the stuff to you at this point. And so let's go over exactly how this goes. You're going to show up. You can land on this pretty easy place to find because it's going to be up in the air floating giant sky fortress right sky labs teleporter one of the most important places that you're going to want to go immediately is going to be this arc staging ground and that's where we're going to start right off the bat right um the arc staging ground is where you get all of your daily crafting missions, the daily mining missions that are accessible immediately. And even uh, this guy that's going to want you to kill a bunch of robots, I believe, over here. We can't do that right now. But that's a good skill mission. So right here, this guy has dailies. I think he gives you about six pack per whichever type of thing you mine up or drill up that's within his missions. I have collected some of them recently, but not all of them. So let's look through this. That's an arc faction mission, not the same thing as the daily. So at 200 points, you'll gain access to an additional grouping of missions. Here are the ones for this planet. And it should be, well, basically you have a whole bunch of mine up over all challenges. Then you have these dailies. This is what I'm talking about right here. 40 peck. In, um, if you mine a claim at 40 peck, you will get 8 peck worth of uh, actual skill. They're all different ranges. I've collected most of them. There's almost one for every one of the materials that's actually mineable on this planet. That's specific to the planet. Let's say that. So... After you get 200 points, you'll unlock these ones that allow you to claim a faction badge every time you get three of said claims. And so, depending on how much mining you're feeling like doing and stuff like that, that can be handy. So here's the fabricator guy. I'm going to show you the missions that he has available. Um, I have been knocking some of them out, so they're not really available yet again. But... There are all these craft a acid. Oh, let me double check. Yeah, craft acid plate. The pattern shirt I, is one of theirs too. This embossed shirt though, that's an arc badge one. And I'll show you where those are in a second. This amazing. If you're gonna do weapons crafting, I'm gonna tell you six pack daily in manufacture weapon skill does add up. Right here, you've got your metal crafting, osprey cold plates. I think we already actually need to. Well, I guess I have to collect on that one. But and um, later on, you'll get this other craft. This is at 300 points or 300 faction badge that you uh, unlock this texture and daily, which will knock that out. I just actually got past 300 faction badge the other day and so you've got your crafting hunting dailies over there over here you got a bunch of guys with different dailies over well not dailies but long term like hey go kill a bunch of crap not very complicated right so then we're gonna hop on our little skateboard all of that's easy to carry out missions by the way when you do find your uh yellow crystal which you're gonna right you can then turn in five yellow crystals to him for a uh, daily sirene token you know the sirene tokens that doesn't seem to be a real gap in the, the thing so we won't go through there obviously um 
if you guys are just here to hunt though for skill I'm gonna shoot over here I'm not gonna blast some but I am gonna show you this right over here are where the RS are I'm not gonna get into exactly why but I can tell you this is a fifth level creature it has exactly 20 life right they don't hit way hard you'll always almost find people hunting them I'm gonna let you guys know you guys hunt those you're gonna feel very very uh, happy about it if you watch your skills right so I'm gonna come up here we're gonna show you where everybody's gonna be sweating real quick ish that's not what I'm exactly showing you though because they're all going to be sweating the little panelians. Now, little panelians, they drop um, the tell that you're going to need for a lot of the upgrades. And I'm going to show you some things on this planet that you're kind of going to be shocked. And I'll be like, oh, now I understand. And some of you already know all this. So it's not like I'm going to bring you something new if you already know all of it. I'm going to say a lot of people don't know this. So for one, this Zyson psyche master attainment mission which i'll explain phase one of it's like sweat 5000 turn in 10000 then phase two is like sweat 10000 turn in 20000 phase three was uh sweat uh 20000 turn in 40000 this just had me on phase well it might be phase it's the final phase with sweat 40,000, I have to turn in 80,000 when I go talk to that guy. See? Boom. And so these guys are all where you'd want to come if you needed to buy up the sweat for that or if you're just sweating. They also drop tails and stuff like that. But besides that factor, I'm going to show you some more skill. Now, if you're just hunting them, I'm going to show you where you can get the auto loot feature. Boom. We're going to be going more places, so we'll just leave that out. This guy here, right here, I didn't take this on purpose today for this reason. Well, literally, if you, you go and kill 200 um, uh, little of those guys, he will give you a grip of skill 2. Let's, let's check exactly which skill he gives. I think it says... In the mission breakdown. I think it's combat reflexes. But I don't want to misinform you guys. It's the, the thing. You know what I'm saying. Oh yeah it is. It's combat reflexes. And so that's absolutely a good one to do. Just to be honest, let's look what the 200 dusters would give us. Weapons handling. And so weapons handling, also a great one to, to rack up on, right? Nobody's going to argue weapons handling, combat reflexes. We all like those. Boom. Sorry about that. Drop those down. Now, those are hunting ones. That doesn't really have to do with... Uh, what I was talking about with the arc badges, but I will show you where we're getting at though. Because you want to stack all this stuff anyway. This weak Panelian hunt cave right here, right? That has automatic auto loot on it. You're going to be the only dude in there hunting. So it's easy as crap to hunt there. These people are always almost going to be out here like somebody. And this is a good place if you're a sweater. I personally prefer dire weeds, but as you can see, very popular active sweating area. Plus, you can knock out that mission if you're swanting them. So you swant 200, you collect your, I think it's 40 peck in uh, skill points. Now this next area, I'm going to show you where we get more of our badges. And then the important part that you guys are going to be like WT why these badges even matter right like obviously there's a bunch of hey you could go get some badges here you could go kill a bunch of this here missions but there's an actual reason just besides just the skill missions and the other stuff that you unlock 
So I'm going to explain this camp now here. I'll pick this up at this point because obviously I'm going to see and make sure that we have things available. Okay. So I think even at 100 faction badges, you're able to access this guy. This guy will give you skill missions that are additional skill missions to the other ones over there, right? In which we're also going to get crafting stuff plus a badge, which is awesome, right? Now I'm going to show you there's more than the ones that I'm doing right here. And the reason why is uh, because I don't have the materials to do every single one of them. And in all honesty, um, what are these called specifically? Craft of Thank God they're actually craft. So this will get you a faction badge and it will get you manufacture weapon skill. That will get you a faction badge and it'll get you some uh, man armor technology. So every single one of these. Oh, hey, how you doing, Prime Admin? Will get you a actual faction badge and the skill. So there's these skill ones over at the other camp. And then there's these totally separate skill ones that unlock. Does that make sense? And so that's one of the benefits of getting your stuff up. But that's not the only benefit. Now at 200 badges, I believe this guy unlocked. In which this guy's the guy that's giving out those missions where we're like if you collect three of those other dailies, you get an arc badge. And then you got this guy right here. He wants some sweat. You can collect the sweat one immediately. So if you collect 500 sweat per day, and we'll collect these real quick. Wouldn't make sense not to, right? Um, if you collect 500 sweat per day, you're going to be able to just turn them in and collect faction badges without um, having to worry about it. Now, the reason I have so much is, remember, we're, tr we're saving up to be able to turn in 40,000 sweat or no, 80,000 sweat. So uh, obviously that's uh, going to be a bit, I'm not going to pretend, but we will be there and pretty soon, sooner than you guys want. Um, let's do this, partially because there, there are people helping me. So this, we're going to knock it out real quick. Um, see these take Siree mission tokens? So a lot of people are like, well, what do you use Siree mission tokens for? There is a vendor. But these other dailies, you're going to actually need them. So I'm going to hit cube because I need to actually see this other one. Lube. By the way, if you hunt the swamp lurkers, this lube is made by um, taking uh, the lurker oil and um, Zorn combined to create lurker lube. Just so you guys know. Has a ridiculous markup too. Oh, that's not as bad as I thought it was, guys. Some of this stuff really does have a ridiculous markup. That's a, a pseudo-reasonable. Power lube. We got it. Boom. Got it. Now, uh, let's see. Okay, so those are the two we're collecting right off the bat. I'll collect more things later, but really I want to show you guys the more important stuff. So we walk up to this guy, we get some more faction badges, and we get some skills. We walk up to this guy. Did I not grab this? Oh, what the crap happened? We used the sweat when we were crafting, guys. I wasn't paying attention. See, you got to watch. That's the other thing. Sirene uses the crap out of sweat, you guys. That's why those people are sitting there doing that. They're not confused. You know, let's just do this. Oh, crap. That's a bad choice, guys. I was going to walk over and just like... That's better. Okay. Dropping this over here. Yeah. Pseudo-organized there, guys. So, we go over here. 
turn in some sweat. Boom. One more faction badge, right? If we mined, we'd get more, blah, blah, blah. So that's pretty easy to earn faction badges. There's a variety of stuff to do them. Now, the part of why the crap you'd be earning these faction badges besides that is going to get right here. And then I'm going to also show you the 300-point uh, unlock, which is uh, that uh, texturing video. Does that make sense? And so, <laughs> I like that. So, here's what happens. For one, we can get this. Oh, this guy hasn't reopened for me. This guy has a good kill mission too, you guys. You want to do that one. So, we're going upstairs real quick. And this is why all these faction badges are come down to mattering. Because, literally, there's armor, there's plates, there's a bunch. And so, I'm going to show you the walkthrough of the plates. So plates, every about 300 points, you can upgrade a plate, right? Let's grab one. I'm going to show you. I do not have all the stuff. I will show you. I am building up the stuff if I get the right. See, we have all this stuff for that. And I'm even starting to build up the stuff for the next phase. That's the wrong thing, guys. But things are being built up to upgrade plates, guys. So we come over here. Oh, we have to grab a plates. And I'll show you what the plates are. So they're just going to hook you up with these pretty much. Right here, right? They just give you them. They're really cheap to acquire anyway. And there's a mission to earn them. There's multiple ways you're going to earn them. A lot of people don't realize that this little simple plate, it's not a big deal right here, right? But that simple little plate at 300 points can be upgraded here. 600 points can be upgraded here, 900 points to there, 1,200, 1,500, and I believe 1,800 is the perfected Imperium plates. Let me see if he'll even let me uh, look at it. So it takes all this stuff, and for each upgrade, you, you're going to have to kill 100 drill bots. That's not a big deal because you're going to stack it with one of the dailies. So luckily... Even though they're not going to show us all the plates, I set it up beforehand to where I have a thing to where I'm going to show us all the plates. So I'm going to switch from game capture to display capture real quick. This is going to be the Imperium Officer plate. It's the upgrade that you can get at exactly 300 points, right? So you've got 7 points of burn damage, boom, boom, boom. It's actually a pretty good plate. Let's go down here. No. Imperium 1. Then you upgrade to Imperium Officer right here. Seven, eight, nine impact, and some stab, right? Now, from there, the next upgrade point is adjusted Imperium, right? Look at this. You've got nine, ten, ten, four. That's not super, but it's pretty awesome. Then, by this point, you're at 12, 12, 12, 5. You get up to the modified, and you're rolling a little bit more serious, plus a 3% block chance. That's awesome as crap. I don't even know what you say about that stuff, right? By augmented, you're at 17, 17, 20, and a 7, and a 4% block chance. And here's what I'm saying. So at 1,800 points, you've got the perfected. That's a 5% block chance, so 1 in 20 hits is not happening. 20 burn, 20 cut, 24 stab, and, uh, wait, no, wait, sorry, 20 burn, 20 cut, 24 impact, 8 stab, sorry about that. That's pretty impressive, and I don't know, I think that's some good armor. Let's go back to game capture real quick, boom. Now, I'm going to show you the other section of what happens here, because it's not just that. So, those are the plates. So, the Penalian armor, which you get, normal armor, you know what I'm saying? Off of popping those little Penalians. And I'll show you which one, actually. Sorry about that. That's probably risky to do, but not really. So, this 
simple art guardian armor and stuff like that that really isn't that valuable and this is a girl when not a boy when i'm gonna get a i'm gonna be killing a bunch i'll get myself a set don't worry has this data if you look over at five boom boom stab okay so not bad but not amazing right so that simple little armor set moving forward don't worry Now, this is every 500 points, okay? So I can't even upgrade the first hay upgrade at this point. And I have literally not been working a little bit. And so when, when people have a pimped out set of this, mad respect. I mean, like straight up, it's not like a hay, you just show up and do it. So here is where at 500 points, you can make your first upgrade. And I'm going to walk you through this, and this is going to be impressive. So here, all the way up there, is the perfected guy. Okay? So here is the first Panelian armor. If you look, you're going to need the tail tips, blah, 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 all kinds of other stuff. Arc, guardian, piece. So that little simple thing that we were looking at, the little cheap armor set, that literally is required for this to happen. Does that make sense? So all of this stuff goes into it. I'll show you the first one real quick. And we'll walk through all these. You've got 41 burn, 12 cut, 12 impact, and 12 stab. So I think you're seeing where this would go with the plates. And uh, obviously, if you wanted to have a penetration or something like that, you're going to want different plates boom we've got 25 burn we're now at 17 cut and 50 impact right that's some pretty good already so that's at 1000 right so at 1500 points and this is realistically i think that i could get to the 15 1800 point range which is the perfected plates and maybe that armor um, but I would even settle in this point. This is 2000 actually. Ooh, let's look at this. It didn't jump by that much. So this is 500. Oh, guys, we're jumping by doubling each time, right? Okay. 2000. Okay. So this is realistically where I'm more likely to get to. But if you look, you need a penalty to the spec piece. Boom. Um, you need your Imperium cubes, the Imperium pilot collectible, all this stuff. Let's look at this. Now, this is where it starts getting good. You see what I'm saying? Right here. That is the adjusted Imperium. And so by adjusted, you have 25 acid, you've dropped in burn. But your plates by then are actually taking the burn to a point. You have a wide variety of other stuff. Plus, if you're fully suited up, you've got some good other bonuses. And I'm going to just straight up say that that is uh, good armor, right? So if, thank you, by the way, very much. So if we go over here. This is insane. This is going to be 4,000. Oh, see, they're not being so mean. So it jumps, and then we're back to 500. So this is within our zone. Okay, so I'm willing to do this much. So let's look over this. This is probably, I'm going to show you all of them. I'm just saying that realistically, within a year, this might could be obtained. You really need that Arc Soldier blueprint, though, guys. I'm going to tell you, I'll be watching for that like a hawk now. And if somebody who has one for sale that they don't want to be vicious with, I would totally consider buying that. Just facts. Acid. Okay, so we're still cold. Look at these bonuses, though. Right here is Pimp. That's enough to sit there and hunt most of the robots, and you finally kick in some penetration, but not tons. I mean... I'm not worried about that. Really, unless you're PvP and stuff like that, I don't think penetration matters that much on a lot of the mobs. Okay, so we're at 3,000 points on this girl. This red set's pretty neat looking, though. 
Look at this. Okay, so this one's absolutely nice. So, I'm not really sure if it's realistic for me to say I would get up to augmented. What is that going to look like? 25, 8, 24. This is insane, you guys. Do you guys see this crap? This, this is... um. You're just jacking dudes up. If you had the plates and that, you should be just killing it. This is 4,000 arc badges, you guys. This is a dream. I'm not going to pretend. Oh, you have to have a pristine of... Uh, oh, look at this crap. So the only thing this thing isn't packing is penetration, and that's not really that big of a deal. So I think that that is uh, basically why most people are likely doing all this stuff. I mean, it, it might not be. What is this guy? <laughs> Oh, yeah. Okay. So you can talk to him, too. That's insane, huh? Okay. So now I'm going to show you some more stuff. Probably don't need to skateboard off of here, though. We're just going to go down into that little base. If I don't wreck too much. And as soon as I do get 80,000 in um, sweat, which will be like this week sometime or something. Um. I will uh, do a stream and we'll turn that in. I don't know when we'll summon the Sky Wraith. I would like to organize some kind of actual plan on the summoning of the Sky Wraith thing, just so you guys know. I'll show you what I'm talking about, though. And we're going to do that new mission that we just got unlocked. So right here, boom, at the Zin border area. Good to know, right? Boom, we come in here. This, by the way, is where that um, texturing mission is actually gotten. And so, it's good to know. Man, we're kind of a little bit glitchy in our movement today. I'm going to show you exactly what the Psyche mission is first. It's kind of interesting. Okay, so this is that Psyche mission. That guy wants us to turn in a bunch of stuff. This is what the levels are. You get rank 1. Rank 2, you automatically you can turn in this every 3 days. You'll get skills for that. We'll probably do that, actually. And you can summon the Zin Summoner Worm Roulette. I don't know what that is, actually. I have no idea. This, you get to turn in another one. That's kind of neat. You get some points. I think it was Biotropics for that. When you turn in again, you qualify for this mission. And the whole summon the Heathen Sky Wraith. In which, I'm not really sure what the Heathen Sky Wraith is. And I'm not even going to pretend, guys. <coughs> but I can show you this other stuff. By the way, every time you turn in stuff... They give you this insane amount of basic skills and stuff like that for sweating. Unfortunately, because you've just sweated a bunch, you probably don't need it at that moment. But, you know, this is where you're going to get the 
texturing mission right here, which I hope is still up somewhere. Oh, well, it's not. Hold on, I'll, I'll pull it up, guys. It's literally a hundred attempts on uh, the synthetic. So you would think it'd be easy to find. Let me think of what it's called. By the way, we're almost done with that pet tamer's horns. Look at this. Where are we at on this? Need 50 more clickies. What is this called, guys? Boom. Got it. Sorry about that. I just barely got this unlocked, so I don't have it memorized like a lot of the other stuff. I don't know what we're going to get here. This is the daily uh, synthetic texture. I literally, uh, it's a 100 attempt mission, but I'm kind of thinking we should just lock the whole thing in and uh, see if we get anything, right? That's probably a better idea. Let's hope we get some. I actually am okay if we don't. But I, mean, I always like getting a new blueprint. And I'm going to just sit here. This isn't a long run where I'm like, hey, this is going to get awkward if I'm just sitting here for a second. But this, I believe, I don't actually know what this gives us, guys. I'm going to be honest. This is the first time I've done this specific mission. And so I literally don't even have a clue of what it gives. By the way, you can see I need to knock out some serious freaking missions on this planet. I don't know if I'm fast enough to get there. Boom. We got there. Oh, we we're already there. Never mind. So we're going to get a choice of limited texture blueprints, supposedly. I wonder what ones. We just got a blueprint. Look at that. Popped a blueprint right that fast. Boom. I already have this blueprint. But uh, if one of you guys don't have this blueprint, I'm going to put that in there for like one pad in the auction house. As a buyout, by the way. What level do you have to be to... Uh, Run this texture, by the way. Let's look. Ten to thirteen point five. So I noticed a lot of the textures on Cyrene, you guys, are ten to thirteen point five. They're in that ten plus zone. And so, probably a good place for that intermediate scaling to go on. Intermediate something skilling. I don't know where it is. I guess it's comparative, right? By the way, this is not a worked up blueprint. I've never actually I think I've ran this and in all reality um, The sub material for this is kind of a high markup one to just run run And I'll show you that so realistically, that's a super high markup, right? And so we are running this. The lesser claws have really good markup, though. And so in realistic terms, it's cool to run this. But on a normal basis, if I was trying to get returns... I would probably be hunting for those and stacking them into big groups and uh, selling them more than doing this daily. I mean, I, I'm just being realistic. I do think it's a good daily. I haven't seen the blueprints that we'll get a look at. 
maybe they make me change my mind in 10 seconds flat because obviously there's a giant markup on these for a reason right and so somebody's paying that markup so they they decided that it was worth it I haven't seen what the uh, options are and honestly there could be some other use for those that justifies the almost 500% markup on lesser claws you know what I'm saying I don't know what that is just say a lot of things you find out in this game and then all of a sudden you understand hey that was justified look at that we're finally becoming a carpenter I'm just joking I probably would work on carpentry if there was way more people purchasing home furnishings and stuff. But I always think, hmm, more people shoot things than decorate their home, just to be honest. And put on armor, stuff like that, but I, I would buy armor. Good armoring, becoming a good armor takes years and years, so... I, I would rather defer to somebody that is a good armor, you know. Which, by the way, there are some freaking epic armors in this game. Nobody's got back a hold of me on uh, that Reaper armor, though. Which I also would like to see. I mean, I don't think anybody currently actually has a full set of Reaper armor blueprints. You know it's your 4th of July in Colorado, and I don't know where you guys live, but in Colorado, people go up to Wyoming to get fireworks because there's more restrictions in Colorado, and so uh, you always get messages from people like right around the 4th of July where they're like, hey, I'm headed up to Wyoming. Do you need anything? And pretty much you know what they're talking about. Would you like real fireworks? I don't know what it's like in anybody else's state or country, but different states have restrictions, and Colorado sometimes has some serious restrictions. And sometimes they're for good reason. Like, if we're in a fire hazard, you probably shouldn't be shooting off fireworks in the woods. Just gonna say that. But sometimes we're not in a fire hazard. You can go out to the desert and have a good 4th of July. That kind of was off topic, to be honest, too. Is that... I kind of wonder if that's just an American thing. With, like, Or if, if there's other... Like in England, do they drive over to somewhere? Or can you just buy fireworks in England? See, these are questions I have about other countries. Like, do they do the same silly stuff that's cool that we do? Everybody has silly stuff that's cool, right? Like, in Norway, do they do fireworks shows in Norway? I'm going to have to Google this crap now. I think, from the pictures I've seen of Norway, a late-night fireworks show would be cool as crap looking. But that's based on, like, not being there and not knowing very much about it at all, to be honest. But the pictures look nice. So do a lot of places, to be honest. Okay, starting to kick it. I don't know what the heck's behind me, but like some kind of Chewbacca thing or something has to be. Let's look. I don't see anything. Well, there must be something back there, guys. Sounds are happening.
So, this takes a second. I thought we were just gonna be like, in my mind, but uh. I'm used to it taking like almost two hours for 1500, so I guess one tenth of two hours, likely. 12 minutes? Or not quite 12 minutes. I noticed some people, which I thought was really smart, um, on their crafting runs, they have most of the run on their videos sped up to like five times speed. In which, on a video, I think actually makes really good sense. I talk a lot though, so five times speed might not help me out too much. Look at that, that's not bad. I'd like one more blueprint though. Is that not insane armor and plates, though, you guys? I mean, just perspectively. And I know, realistically, I'm probably not going to get perfected plates, right? Um, right now, at least. I mean, over, like, ten years, it could happen. But uh, aren't those freaking nuts insane? That was a big jump, too. Kind of threw me off on the where it's like 500, 1,000, 2,000. I'm like, whoo. So I want that uh, 2000 set, though. That's the one we want. And that with perfected plates is pretty freaking good. Or even with good plates. Like even like the second one and up or third. That's what I think. It's an aspiration, you guys. I'm going to end up finding out that we wish we would have saved our uh, other dues for another day. I'm really curious to what blueprints we get to pick, you guys. And by the way, I'm going to explain more. Because there is more. So I think basically right now with some of the tree harvesting areas and, and the other zones that there are, there's some hugely beneficial stuff on Cyrene. And so, at least to me, I thought so. Okay, so we're winding into the last few. I remember it was only 60 some clicky clicks. 20 pad. I'm going to recycle this into skill and stuff because I'm not actually going to use this for anything. And there's nowhere that I'm going to actually turn it in. And so I'm going to show you how that works. That statistically isn't going to be very impressive because our blueprint isn't worked way up. Um, blueprint terminal right here. Boom. We go here. Universal blueprints. Get a limited customizable blueprint book. Boom. Then we're going to go in here. Go in here. Grab our texturizer. Equip it. Boom. I'm then going to grab this limited book, drop it in there. You're going to notice it opens one slot up. It does not matter that we're not qualified because all that affects is the overall outcome of the item. We're going to get 90% of the value of this back in pad. Okay. So 18 pad, 18 point something pad is going to come back at us. And as you guys are going to see, the rest is going to hit us in skill. I mean, not the whole rest. I'm not like, but an amount of skill related to texturing is going to come back at us. Watch. Boom. 18.27. That's 90 something percent of that. Then over here. Boom. Do we not skill on that one? 
So it's always a bummer if we didn't. Oh, we got no skill. Well, usually you get skill. And so that's a sad, sad moment when we get no skill from our, our switchover. But you get a 90% kickback no matter what on all texturing when you turn it in like that. Then we're going to come over to this guy, which I wish he had a little thing above him. I think it might be this one. Okay, so what do we get a pick from? Oh, crap, you guys. Oh, what do we want? I'm going to be honest. This is kind of interesting. So there's a whole bunch. Okay. So this is why. Twenty clicks each. Okay, so no matter what, it's twenty clicks. Synthetic arc blueprint. So these are all those weird ones that we didn't know what what exactly was going on there. Kind of want to see this. I'm sorry. I'm, I want to check out what the synthetic boffin is. Oh, and it takes the synthetic leather. That's interesting. Okay. So, let me really think about that because I'm not really sure. I mean, like, I think that's neat. I'm not sure how many of those I would do. But I almost would do enough to find out what all the things are. Maybe. I don't know. I'm, I'm going to be curious about that. Okay, guys. I'm dropping this in at one pad. Boom. Let's, let's double check and make sure we don't have an Ark Soldier blueprint in here. Now that we know we're desperately looking for one. Because we need it for all those dang upgrades, right? Oh. What am I doing? Okay. So this is what you turn in is, is these kind of things. Is that muscle compound A, um, B, and C to this guy. I'm not going to do that right now because I don't want to really do a bunch of crafting run stuff. Um, I will though, and we don't have the 80,000 to turn into him, so I would like to give him 80,000, but that's not a today thing. Unless one of you guys has a considerable amount of sweat on you right now, um, it probably isn't going to happen right this second. Did I run the wrong way? No. What suit is this? So I gotta scan him. I gotta tell him too. Hello. Oh, also he's good on stuff too. Good. We're also checking out other things. So, big industry senior jacket. Oh. Oh. It's big industry stuff. Okay. Makes more sense. I don't know where you get your big industry stuff. I don't work for big industries, though, so. But cool. They do do uh, events on Cyrene now, by the way, you guys. Okay, so this is going to be the other part that's very, very important. And some of you will be like, well, I don't see why that would be so important. I showed you where the guys are that you're like, hey, um, 
These guys will give you really good skills. Those are the RNs. I'm going to just make sure that I've repaired myself real quick. I want to go over and start blasty blasting anything. Okay, so I don't know if you guys know what Terillion is. By the way, oh, right over there is where all the drill bots are. Really easy to go kill. The drill bot daily is worth it too, by the way. Oh, yeah, skill gain. The Terillion clothing. <laughs> Weirdly enough, I'm about to show you where to get Terillion essence. Make sure I'm not going the wrong way. We don't want to mess with those right this second. They should just add more skateboards and maybe a skate park somewhere. Doesn't that look though like like it was set up for skating? Honestly, now that I'm thinking it, they Oh. You know what I actually just thought about? You know how those uh Polaris side-by-side -side things are really popular? I almost think that Mindark should reach out to Polaris put some of those side-by-side -side ATV thingies in there. Oh, see, that's only a 15th level adult horned board bird. That's a... Ooh. I feel like I went past where I was trying to go to, guys. Hold on. This village isn't where I was trying to go, but it looks like a convenient place to figure out what what went wrong. Okay. Oh, this is where I was trying to go. When we turned around, we turned around wrong, guys. I turned around wrong, not you guys. You guys didn't do it. I'm sure you guys weren't confused about that. So farming Terillion Essence, the stuff has a ridiculous high markup, which is understandable. We don't want to ask that. Woo! Sometimes you can splash through water. Okay. See, so we've got designs on the bottom. I don't know if that matters to anybody, but I'm glad there's designs there. Just saying. Oh, and here's a piece of a vehicle. Let's look what it is. Down Lancer right there, guys. Okay, so if you death over to here, you can get here that way too. Okay, for the purposes of the fact they're going to try to kill me, I'm going to show you. We'll grab some Terillion Essence real quick. And I would keep this 
armor too, but for different reasons. This doesn't have uh, penetration either, actually, though. Really have enjoyed this armor, though. Oh, wait. Let's double check this stuff, guys. I'm not going to use that many. I just, when I'm buying one, I might as well just get a couple extra, you know. Okay, so you come in here. So, uh, right, this zone here, this little, I don't know what you would call this, arena zone area is what I guess it would be. And I guess there's even a little thing inside of here, to be honest, but. Now, where are all these dudes? Yesterday, this was filled with dudes. Is it only filled with dudes sometimes? Guys, do you know if this is only filled sometimes? Yeah, I'll enter a rift. I don't even know what the rift is. We might be getting ourselves into something here. I wasn't in the rift the other day. Okay, so we're going to start some kind of wave. Maybe that's what these guys are looking for. Oh, see, I'll bet the thing I was hunting those up there, guys. Let's look. Oh, no vehicles in this place. If they'll start the wave, we'll do it. I don't know what's going to kill us. I don't even know what's going to happen here, guys. So normally, there's Zeldos that are uh, within the normal range of, hey, you could kick the crap out of them. You know what I'm saying? Um, I didn't go down into this wave pit, though. So I'm willing to wait the 19 seconds to see what shows up to kill us, though. I mean, like, could be a mistake. There's two dudes up there, though. So let's hope not. And there's one of these hammers. Oh, what is this? Oh, this is nothing. What the crap is this crap? This is, this is, unless these guys do some kind of secret damage that I don't know about. Oh, yeah, they're not going to, this, this is not what I was going to show you guys, but let's look at these guys. Rift. Maybe they also drop it. This is a Terillion Crystal Petty something something. They're all gonna get all swarmy on me. Watch. I see where this is going. I don't think these guys are that bad. So I have plates and, uh, sorry, plates and adjusted pixie. Let's look at this real quick so you guys know what, what's actually being blocked. So this is an insane blockage, but this is some blockage, you know what I'm saying? So we really do need that 2,000 one. That's going to be a long time, guys. We're going to have to do that in sets. See if we get some drilling essence from these guys. So I swear to gosh, yesterday... 
And I think I was in the exact same spot. I was killing Zeldos. Not in the pit. We'll kill all these and then we'll see what's going on. Maybe I had to fly around and like, figure out where I was killing the Zeldos. But they were dropping Trillion Essence for sure. Almost turned too early. I think we've almost worked through them. I don't know what this wave gives us. And so let's hope something cool. And I think the Zeldas are going to end up being up there. But who knows? Come on, land a hit. Okay, we're probably not doing another wave. I'll probably come up here and see if these Zeldoth are over here. Oh, no, no, I don't want your 60 seconds. Oh, uh, it is over here, guys. So this is a different entrance. There's two entrances. Yes, we now know what happened. So I... What, what is this crap? Zelda crystal. Well, I guess that could power up Starship, guys. Okay, so see these guys? That's what these guys are going to be uh, harvesting. This is what we we're looking for. So these dudes pack Terillion Essence. Which is probably what those guys are hunting for specifically.
That was not a bad start to things, right? So these weak Zeldoth, they're right down here in the same camp area, this compound, but not in the crater. They're on this other side. I was wondering, I'm like, I know I just hunted these in here the other day. I'm like, I don't understand, but I didn't come through the same side. I, I came through this one over here, it threw me off a little bit. But these guys are super easy. For this level especially too, huh? Because we just saw how much I was vibing to put into those uh, crystal pads. Yeah, none of this is the good stuff yet, so... Just want to make sure I didn't miss something. Nope, for sure. These guys are a little aggro-y, huh? So obviously you're going to watch that a little bit. My fun is just bugging that crap out of me today.
They're being less kind with it than last night. I'm surprised we haven't got some essence yet. Last night when I was killing these guys, we I did much better, let's just say that. On the essence front. I didn't get a significant or a significant item or anything, you know what I mean, but the essence was flowing in and the markup on it's pretty impressive, so I didn't mind. That is a creepy sound, huh? I'm starting to wonder if uh, this comes in cycles like those uh, jellies on Tulin. Maybe I was in a prime cycle. Check where this is on our uh
Okay. So, because it looks like this is in not as common as I thought it was when I did this last night. I'll show you what I'm talking about. It does drop off of these guys. Let's see if we can mine in here, though, too. And we'll drop some mining probes, actually. We'll try to knock out some of those other dailies that are like the mining ones. I want to show you about this Terillion Essence. I thought it was actually more common because last night it was not being that hard to find. Which is kind of one of those WTs, right? Now you guys were probably thinking we had burned up more stuff than that, but no. Super efficient stuff. Okay. Let's grab all this crap, drop it into here, right? Boom. Get this. So these, by the way, drop from scout bots or even those uh, scout tax collectors, just so you guys know. Okay, let me think of what really in essence looked like last night. Right there. Boom, that's what it looks like. So this stuff has 16,000% markup. Um, I honestly... I don't know anything about it. Like, what is it used for? Why is it 16,000% markup? I do know, on the other hand, that it does drop specifically from those guys. Probably drops from more than just them. So I'm not like, you must hunt them to get it. But uh, I'm going to tell you, I did hunt them. I did get some. I got seven of them. That's not a huge amount. And I get that you guys would be like, hey, that's not the largest amount I've heard of. Maybe not, but uh, I didn't even know where they came from until then, so pretty okay with that. By the way, I'm going to show you guys what we're using, just so you guys don't think confusion about stuff. Equipment-wise, this is what we're going to be using. Five hundred and fifty two meters is the average. Then the other thing I'm using is an RE one oh three, right? In which that's doing good stuff too. But that's just getting the stuff out of the ground. That's not, not actually doing anything, guys. So Let's see what happens here real quick. I almost wanted to just fly over that ridge so that we could uh, see what's up over on the other side. Get a little further away from here. Let me just wait a second. Well, I wanted them to be kind and be like, hey, here's a nice global, but no. So I want to come up over here mostly uh, to see what is actually over here. Let's drop some probes. And maybe we suck at mining on this little ice island. I hate to consider it rude, but sometimes. Ooh, what's over here? Ah, uh, I like these guys too, guys. Ironstone, huh? Hold on, little crab thing, I'll be back. 
So those little crab guys, they uh, they carry the stuff to do the the uh, armor mission, the first one. Let's go jack him up. They hit hard, but they're slow. So honestly, if you just like wanted to, you could just walk away from them the whole time, but. He'll catch me at this rate, but I think you guys see how I could just turn and run away a little bit. He wouldn't catch me because he's that slow. See, we're already out of his range. I mean, that's not what we're going to do. I'll just kill him, but... Reality wise is these crabs are super super easy to just deal with And that's why they're such a good mob if you be smart about it like they're literally not gonna get you Ooh. I almost fell off into the water guys I'm telling you, this is this is where the blue ice is for sure. So I use this for something. I don't remember what right off the bat, but I've been collecting that. When we get back to Calypso and I start like actually looking through what we craft and stuff, um, I'll remember what we do. But been off planet for a little bit, so. I should have known that was going to happen. Boom. There's one of our missions done. And so that's the third one of the uh, yellow crystals we found, which gives us another arc badge. And that's why once you actually unlock more of the stuff, it starts stacking kind of. Because we're still also at the same time doing our iron mining missions. And so basically it's three missions stacking. I mean, I know they're all giving out different things, but overall that's a pretty good deal. I was prepared for it to to drop some stuff. Uh, these guys are, I can't remember if they're hostile or not. Like big hostile or just kind of like, you know. Obviously they're not big hostile or they'd be swarming me already. One of them, nope, he didn't pick up on me. Oh, look at this. Kinds of stuff, guys. 
This is how you end up having to kill everything, right? Okay, let's collect this. Hurry. Nice. That was that was actually really good. Nope, don't jump off there. go up. Oh, you know what? Maybe straight across here is fine. I think we're right back behind that place that we're just hunting at right now. Look down here. Oh, what the crap is this? Okay, yeah, that's that place from the back side. Okay, so there's where those Zeldoth are. We're going to just jump down here. That's going to hurt a little bit. 82. That, I don't remember how much they start you with. That might have killed a new person. That hurt like crap, though. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna pretend. Okay, so this Force Nexus, honestly, I'm glad I got that. Been needing some of that. So that we can recharge uh, our uh, teleportation powers. So that that uh, just be used up actually. No complaints there, right? Guess this would be a good place to do some fruit walking or uh, stone walking. I don't know how much blue crystal is worth, but we've really nailed the crap out of it. So there's a lot of blue crystal down here. Let's look at this value-wise. 107. So if we refined blue crystal, it might be more valuable as whatever the uh, conversion is. Probably should kill those sky wraiths.
I'll go get that one first. And then we'll get that other one. After we kill him, I guess. I'm gonna end up having to kill that too, guys. Yeah, I saw it coming. This Sky Wraith actually doesn't seem very bad at all. For that level, you know what I mean? I'll drop another one of those. Seemed very reasonable. So these sky wraiths way easier than they look. For some reason, a flying 14th level snake seems like it would do some something. I don't know.
I tell you, we must be really close to getting uh, the Zorn one if we haven't already collected it. We're doing good on iron that I didn't really need on this planet, but... But I'll take it, you know. What can you say? Okay, so if you guys are wondering, there is iron here. Okay, so now we're gonna go here, obviously we got more iron, I'm gonna not drop any more, we're just gonna collect real quick. But I'd say that we have plenty of random crap on us. Those have become real popular, honestly. Sorry about that, guys. Let's see where our bill is. Yeah, I didn't think it would be a very big bill. Most of the stuff I'm using is super uh, efficient, honestly, so kind of a blessing, right? Okay, we're going to pop right back in here. Boom. And these guys are going to be able to give us some more arc badges for the day. I 
thought my shadow was reflecting weird. Boom. See? More. And that will recharge by tomorrow. Well, in 21 hours, all that stuff recharges. Absolutely worth doing. Um, I'm going to see if we have the stuff to actually collect on these ones over here real quick. Yeah, let's do. I don't remember the last time I did these yesterday over here, so they might actually be back up. Yeah, see, collecting this stuff too. Okay, boom. Then we're gonna come in here. I'm pretty sure we can actually collect some tailoring. But I want to double check. I have enough for one try. I didn't grab a lot. Well, you know what? I'm willing to buy that probably. Oh, we succeeded anyway. 250%. We'll probably just hunt that. Um, I got lucky. Got on my first try. And so... Go back out here. We'll collect that real quick. That's going to give us some tailoring. Boom. The one that I uh, do every day is that manufacture weapon one. It hasn't reset yet. And actually several of the other dailies I do every day haven't reset. Um, honestly, I hope this helps you guys out. I'm going to go ahead real quick, try to attempt to find somebody that's uh, streaming Entropia real quick. Um, if you guys have questions about how any of this stuff works on um, Cyrene specifically, I'd be more than glad to answer them if you put them in the bottom on the comments and stuff like that. Outside of that, I um, hope you guys have a great weekend and I'll see you next week. Peace and very best wishes.